Eric Golden. What are you doing? <laughs> the next president of the People's National Party, Comrade Mark Golden. So the truth is, if Comrade Golden had only won a strong seat that he got by a hundred votes, I wouldn't be supporting him. I could not. Because it would mean that him seat was going to be in trouble when him left it to go help the rest away. And our uncle 14 and we did it. So we can't afford to lose no more. All 14 seats, Comrade Mark, all 14. They need your help to make sure them safe. All 14, and then you go look some more. So we need that. I hear some people going on like say, because you have a strong majority, whether it is South St. Andrew or South West St. Andrew, that is a problem. It's not a problem. No. Over the years, we have treated the people right. And as Sister P said, treat the people right, and they will treat you right. That's how it go. Show the people love, and they will love you back. And that is the formula. And at that we are work on. And that's why I am going with Golding. My team shows a, paints a picture, and the picture is one of unity because last year there was a little contest joe never dip on the same side as me you know no. trisha never dip on the same side as me you know anthony hilton never dip on the same side as me you know harry stalin never dip on the same side as me you know richard Azan never dip on the same side as me you know norman scott never dip on the same side as me you know but them dip on my side now though yeah them dip on my side now so we feel good about that because, comrades, we are at a place now in the People's National Party where we've gone through years and years where we're not really operate like a family. And we have to come back to the, the, the era and go forward with a new era, which is based on the PNP as a family. And the family must be based on respect for one another, love for each other as comrades, and discipline in how we handle certain things. And I intend to lead on the basis of love, respect, and discipline. Because you have, sometimes you have to show tough love to you know. Love is not always soft love, right? Rich people now really look out for them, you know. And the government have to look out for them and set the thing right so everybody can live good and uplift themselves. And that me defend. Yeah, man, that me defend. Because that is what our party builds, that's the principle that our party builds off, you know. It's written in our constitution, we call it democratic socialism. Whatever you want, call it. And whether you, some people don't want to use them terminology nowadays because it, some people don't really understand it and it's saying a certain thing. What it means to me, social justice, that means that the system is set right so people who don't face discrimination and oppression of any kind and equal rights and justice for all equal opportunity access to opportunity where everybody not care where them born or how them born or whatever have an equal opportunity to uplift themselves and live good that is what we stand for yeah man and adapt me i go fight for as your leader come i believe in that god not send me here for us look after business people i'm a businessman you know I'm a top corporate lawyer in the country. I know the whole of the top anarchists in Jamaica. They trust me because I do enough of them legal work for years. And they know that so I'm a thief. I'm a honest. I'm a word. It's my band. They know that. Yeah, man. And they respect me. So I know So when I become the leader of the party, I'm going to go back to them. And I'm going to say you have to support the movement now because me there. So help. And you know me, so come work with me. And comrades, we have to rebuild the organization of our party. Have to. And we have to set the thing right. We have to respect the workers, them. Look after them properly. Train them properly. With political education, we have to really focus on it. We have to make it up-to-date and relevant. So that when election day comes, our workers them know exactly what to do. 
and can deliver what we need them to deliver to deliver the victory. And we have to look after them too. That's why I say, I have established a fund called the OT Faircloth Fund. OT Faircloth was a man who he was the first man to start the People's National Party. I him bringing Norman Manley as the leader of the party. And that's why I want to honor OT Faircloth because not everybody even know about OT Faircloth. But OT Faircloth is the founder of the People's National Party. And that fund is going to be there to be invested. And the income from the investments are going to, is going to look after our party workers who have served long and hard and who face bad living conditions and other problems in their life. Because I don't, when we see some of our party workers and how them live, it doesn't look right to me. Because it's an embarrassment, really. Our party shouldn't be in a situation where somebody who has served the party for years and years and years, and when they check a stock, their mouths are popped down and it look good and people in the neighborhood say she, she a long time she worked for PMP and look how she are things stay them not ready yet so comrades me feel so me can help pull the party together me feel so me can I will rebuild the organization working with the people in the party who are strong in that area who want to bring the youth them more into the party because we're weak with the youth them we're weak with the youth them and if you check the ratio, just look on South St. Andrew and how we deal with that. Because the PNPYO in South St. Andrew is strong. We have over 100 active members. And I bring them in everything we do. Because I love work with youth. Youth have creative energy and ideas what we don't have. Because we are 55 and I feel so I know everything already. Although I know, we know, we know, we don't know everything already. But you kind of feel so you understand the world. Whereas the youth, them, them are question everything and I look at everything different. So you have to give and eat. You have to, you have to include them in the decision making because they have value to bring to the process. They can think out the box and give you some good ideas. So the same way we do it in South St. Andrew, we we'll want to bring the national PNP, P, PNPYO into the thing more and build them up, nurture them, mentor them, make them strong, train them so they can be the next set of MPs. And the youth, them all about Jamaica, we say, what? PMP check for young people, you know. Not because Mark Golden now wear clocks, you know, and him not name broke, you know. But him check for young people, you know. We are going to work with him. And that may was, that's the message we want to send. Because it's reality, action, speak louder than words, substance over hype, as Chronic said.